What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're gonna be attacking these, what are supposed to be black, fenders on the 2017 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, so, if you guys are familiar with these Jeeps at all and with as many on the road as there are today, I'm sure you are. These fenders turn this gray white color over time just from the sun. Uh, I'm gonna be using two different methods, a propane torch or an actual Meguiar's a black plastic restore product. And we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison on these. I'm gonna do the entire front of the Jeep with a torch, and then I'm gonna do the back fenders and the back bumper with the Meguiar's product. So this is the Meguiar's product that I went with. Um, this was about $10 at local Walmart. Um, so never used it before. Today will be the first time trying it out. And we will I have used the torch method before. Um, but I kind of want to see which one's better, which one has a longer lasting effect. All right, so with the propane torch, I like the one where you click the button and the flame stays on. But as you're using this, you, you want to go slow enough uh, to where you get the result you want, but not so slow that you start melting or burning the plastic. That's the downside of doing this method. So. It is pretty quick though. I'm gonna do this entire fender. So you can already see how dramatic that difference is there. Um, all in about, what was that? 20 seconds it took me to do that. Uh, so as you saw, you do have to move pretty quickly, um, but it, it doesn't take long. already see what a drastic difference that makes that's with the torch just on the front fender here compare that to the rear fender or this front bumper hasn't been done yet but that black looks as good if not better than new see those two fenders there comparing those it's an easy very quick method of restoring that nice black color to these plastic fenders and plastic trim pieces all right, guys, so like I said, I've never used this Meguiar's product before, um, but it just says to shake it well, and then I'm going to use a cotton applicator pad uh, to apply it to the surface. It does say it can take two to three coats on highly affected areas, um, so we'll see how that turns out. And then I've just got an extra rag on standby to wipe off any excess. So I don't want to get any on the paint or uh, anywhere other than the black plastic. So let's take a look, see how it works. small dab on there. So that's after the first application of the Meguiar's Ultimate Black product. Uh, it's a little streaky right now. I'm gonna have to let it dry out or cure. 
Uh, that's one coat. It does say it could take, you know, two to three coats depending upon how, how badly affected the area is. The longer you let it sit, it darkens up a little bit, but again, that's the torch. First go, you know, less than five minutes to do the whole fender. One coat so far with the Meguiar's product. So I'll keep going, put another coat on, uh, let that dry out. And then if needed, I'll do another one and see how it looks from there. But I'm gonna do the entire, you know, both back fenders with this Meguiar's product, both front fenders with torch. And then uh, we'll see how those look long-term. All right, guys, we finished the whole car. Uh, remember I did the front two fenders and the front bumper with the propane torch. And I did the rear fenders and the rear bumper with the Meguiar's product. Overall, I'm pretty happy with both, both methods. They both look good. They both did the intended purpose. Turn that faded gray, almost white plastic back to black. So there are a few things that I would say about the uh, two methods with the propane torch. It goes a lot quicker, a lot easier, and uh, there's more methods or more things that you can do with a torch than you can a specialized product. Uh, for me, the Meguiar's product, uh, easy enough to apply. You do have to let it sit for a little while and, and put a couple of coats, but I think it looks pretty good. It's a little bit glossier finish. Um, and it is a specialized product, so you're not really going to be using this for anything other than black trim. But overall, I'm happy with both. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, we finished the whole car. Uh, I am going to do a long-term results or long-term comparison for these two methods, uh, probably after a week and then after a month. Uh, so stay tuned to the channel for that update and like and subscribe. All right, guys.